Media researchers from an international research group asked me to participate in their study and to talk to you guys about media literacy, how to get more benefit and harm from all this flood of information. In the first video, I talk about the work life of a modern freelance content producer and what I actually do. People think that influencers and content producers simply make money by posting photos and videos on social media. But there's much more to it. It's basically a profession and lifestyle in one. And it's not as easy as it seems. False conclusion number one. You don't have to know anything. Although I have Johanny and Katri to help me make these videos, I've actually learned about video production during my journalism studies for years. How to get high quality pictures, sound, how to perform, how to find customers, how to do marketing, etc. It all requires a great deal of different knowledge and skills. A bit like being jack of all trades. False conclusion number two. It's very easy. It's easy to be your own employer and work anywhere, anytime. I decided to live in Bali for a few months, but that doesn't mean that I'm not working here. Today's influencer or content producer can work anywhere, anytime. It may look cool and fun, but in fact it requires a lot of self-discipline. You have to plan your time and sometimes it's quite difficult to force yourself to work. In a way, I'm my own boss. Being your own employer also means that in order to get paid, you have to be your own marketing specialist, secretary, office manager, etc. False conclusion number three. Being famous is enough. People think that being known is enough to become an influencer or content creator. In a sense, you are your own brand and it depends on that brand how much you earn. Fame comes with a downside. Wherever I go, people recognize me. You have to take care of your brand's reputation all the time. So actually, you're essentially at work 24-7. False conclusion number four. I do what I want. It's actually a pretty big responsibility. I have to know exactly who I'm working with because people take me as an expert. Therefore, background work is important. Anything I share has consequences and it's my responsibility. My suggestions and thoughts affect the daily lives of a lot of people. So I always have to think two steps ahead. Therefore, an influencer or a content producer is no different from a journalist or an actor or any other famous people's jobs. But maybe these highly influential jobs have always existed and it's not a new thing. Are influencers and content producers doing something completely new and different? Or did that kind of jobs exist already decades ago? If you're interested in the research project, take a look at smart-toolkit.eu.